Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays, another squad video. And believe it or not, I've actually just redone this little intro again. I actually recorded this video, well, actually on the 3rd of July, and for some reason it didn't automatically post itself to YouTube. So my apologies if this is a little bit late and I'm telling you stuff that you already know. But we're going to be going through and looking at a new developer update, which is in regard vehicles. Yes, vehicles is something we've all been waiting for, and vehicles are going to change the gameplay in squad completely. I mean, utterly going to change the way we've all got used to playing it over the last year or so. We're all going to have to relearn now. Infantry are going to be literally very, very aware of where vehicles are. The fact that we can now get into combat much quicker. We can use the Humvees as attack vehicles, the logistics. There's an armoured vehicle in there. So the whole circle the whole squaddy pie is starting to come together and eventually we'll have helicopters and all sorts in there so let's jump in and have a look at what we've got so far in this developer update so as we can see here they've been doing a lot of work behind closed doors with the vehicles sorting out the physics the handling the player interaction and things like that and before we progress on to this i have actually got 20 minutes of footage showing you one of the vehicle tests which is not actually public on youtube it's set to a, uh, an unlisted link from one of the developers so i will be showing you that as well in this video so hold on if you want to have a look it is early very early lots of things will change but it gives you an idea of a little bit of the, of the videos and the footage so as we can see here the first one is a little drive around in the humvee really quite nice now i don't know whether that we've got a little bit slight little bit of free look there it did look like the head position was changing maybe this is automatic as we turn into a corner the head oh, jesus that's the let's turn it down a little bit i mean really i would love this game in vehicles and as the infantry as well is if we could hold down the option key and have a free look aka like armor i think it's absolutely screaming out for something like that um it will come it is mentioned a long time ago in early access the developers it was was on the list um but that's the humvee so i'll pause that as i said i've got a lot more footage to show you later on obviously they've been working on the actual physical handling of the vehicles the tire suspension the weaknesses for example and of course there's a lot more involved in this should a vehicle get hit with an rpg then they need damage states and then you need to do retextures and then what happens to the vehicle if if the vehicle is blown up what happens to it on the server does it disappear does it stay there it's a lot more involved i think than we actually appreciate what's in goes into the vehicles including the audio and everything else that happens to it and the weapons on the vehicles server side lots and lots in there for them to look at now it's not just vehicles they've been working on as you can see here we looks like we've got an upgraded radial menu i don't think the other one was a huge issue but obviously that looks a lot more sexy on screen as you can see here very nice it looks like we can actually get a better representation of what we're actually putting down this will be a rally point this will be a fob i'm not sure what these are We'll find out at some point i have no doubt uh, as we can see transport vehicles with a humvee and it looks like it's got a protection up there let me just zoom in a little bit more get a better look so yes and we can actually see here us army yes we're getting a new faction as we'll have a look at that in a second so you can see the radial menu here so when we go up to the box press f can now scroll it looks like we'll probably press it and we'll get our cursor back and we'll be able to select what we want down here really nice this really is modernized it quite a lot very nice indeed yeah there's a little hint there on something else that's going to be coming as well uh they've also upgraded the marker system with the radial menu that we've mentioned above that squad leaders can place map markers which is going to help again as uh, people tend to spam garbage on the map which is a shame New soldiers, yes, the US Army. Our art team is proud to show you off the new set of United States Army soldier models, finally in game, crafted from scratch. And they were created from help from military advisors. And as you can see, very nice indeed. I like this antenna. I hope this has got physics here. Physics point, bouncy, bouncy. Would be very cool indeed. And look at this. Oh, yes. 
Looks like we're going to be getting a dedicated sniper or marksman. A new weapon. We'll get to that in a second. As you can see, these models look really nice. We've got the, the M-Law there. Pistol. Yeah, very nice. That saw looks slightly small. But anyway, interior of the Humvees here. Mind you, a 203 gunner, that's a lot of 203 rounds. <laughs> yeah, these look very, very cool indeed. Oh, look at these. Uh, and as you can see, there's a convoy here. I, I, another game mode that would be fantastic for this would be protect the transport. Basically, you would have to transport a, a logistics vehicle from point A to point B. You know, possibly the other side would set up ambushes, etc. That would be a fantastic game model, especially when mines are involved and then there's minesweepers on the road, etc., etc. You can only imagine that when the SDK is finally implemented, the community is just going to change this game. The better, the better, and better. Here we go, some nice more screenshots here. Very cool. I can't wait to do some more cinematics for the game for you guys. Enjoy doing them. Oh, there's a little founder. Founder weapon skin there. Yeah, very nice. And we've also got the 82mm mortars. Fucking A! I honestly, you can imagine the audio that Anders is going to be putting in the game for this. That whoosh, 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 and the explosions going off. Absolutely brilliant. And then the effects work. I hope the dust clouds and the impact are large. Let's make these into something terrifying. Not just a poof, bit of cloud disappears. I want the dust cloud to last for a long time. Hopefully, we may even get smoke rounds, illumination rounds at night, things like that. Or maybe the two or three gunner could actually do that. But here we are, the M193782 millimeter mortar. Very nice indeed. Now, in armor, in the ace mod, somebody you would carry the tripod or the bipod in this case, and somebody carry the actual mortar. So let's just see. Not too much details really on what we're actually doing with that. We've also got the dish heavy machine gun. Uh, it's nice the fact that this weapon offers a 360 degree coverage because obviously at the minute the 50 cals you're limited in your arc of fire and this would be good for really short driving, blitz, get out again. Or even if the technical could be placed on the top of a hill in a slight dip, you could have this weapon over the brow of the hill and chugga, 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 heads exploding. Much satisfaction as you want. As you can see, very, very nice indeed. I think the lighting looks a little bit bleached and burnt out here, like ambient occlusion isn't on. This grass seems a little strange, but anyway, I digress. Yeah, very nice. Another cool toy. And again, this being on the tripod this time, we'll be able to mount this tripod behind these walls. Maybe if you place it here, you'll have a little bit of coverage from the trees and just absolutely blitz. Fantastic. Another thing for the infantry to worry about. The more and more we get into it, the more for us to worry about. We've also got the M110 SAS semi-automatic sniper system is now in the game and will be featured in the US Army Marksman kit. To current state, it will support a times four ACOG, and they will be looking at getting in at some point at times ten. There we go. My only worry with this is too many snipers. Hopefully, this will be limited. Well, it usually is limited by kit. And what what you're talking about is will this ruin the game? Will we get some literal lone wolf up on the hill? We've got enough with vehicles and 50 cows and everything else going on now. Now we have to worry about this. With a times 10 scope, I think is a little bit unfair for the infantry. Times 4, possibly. But who knows? I'm sure I'll get to try some in the uh, closed testing, and I'll be able to tell you about it, even though I'm not allowed to show you it, due to us having an NDA. Again, very nice. And you can just imagine the order that Anders is going to put in here with a massive... <laughs> Yeah, whether these have got any silencer on it or not, who knows whether these can affect or go through body armor. I'm sure we'll find out very soon. And here we've actually got a video, a little sample of some of these weapons. And I'll just flick through this quickly and so find this space.
Very nice. And we've also got updates to the graphics. We've got an apartment block update with more variations in there. It reminds me of uh, a lot of Project Reality. Uh, the vehicles in there, obviously, these look a, a little bit more detailed. As you can see inside, we've got impact craters here and everything. So it's coming along very nicely indeed. This definitely does remind me of Project Reality. Very much so. Got the, definitely got that Russian. We've also got a new map, an Eastern European map. Uh, Yohorvika, however you pronounce that, has been growing since the last recap. The map has the first settlements in, agriculturally themed, so there'll be fields, farms, Things like that. Maybe even be pigs and animals in there. Who knows? So, yes, infantry running along here. Close quarters combat in here. And then it looks like it goes further out into the distance where the vehicles are probably going to come in. Brilliant. Large lake. When are we going to get to modern day uh, ribs in here with boats flying around and all this sort of stuff? I'm sure it'll come as a mod, even if the developers don't do it. And I really always want to blow up these petrol uh, pumps. <clears throat> Big explosion. Anyway, getting carried away. It's not Hollywood. Yeah, very nice indeed. Lots of flat, open terrain here. So, you know, placing the uh, 50 cal or things here is just going to be a nightmare for vehicles, uh, for infantry, which is what we want. God of Dogs got new objectives, new variations, and new lighting adjustments. So I haven't actually tested this in-game as yet. Be interesting to see what those updates are. These, these look really nice, don't they? This foresty area, a little bit like Chenerous from Armour. Very nice. I've been playing a lot of farming simulators recently as well. <laughs> oh, so picturesque for murder, death and killing. Uh, Samari Bile has actually had a detail pass. Now, detail pass means extra little goodies, interesting art, things like benches, tables, as you can see up here. Now, Samari Barlow, from the second iteration that we had, was already my favourite map. It's fantastic, is that map now. It, you've got the option of close quarters and ranged combat. And uh, the fact that they've updated it again is just mind-blowing because I, I already thought that map was amazing. I don't remember any of these being empty. Maybe I was just enjoying myself too much. But again, very nice indeed. As you can see, before and after. So they've added lots of extra little details in there. See, it was empty before. Now we've got the horse and cart, the motorbike, and things like that. Now, motorbikes will be a vehicle coming eventually, and so will these. And before we close out, the development team would like to thank Tom Nedry for his contributions to the squad wiki. So if there's anything you want to know about them that you can't find on my videos or Karma's videos or any of the other guys who are out there commu creating com community videos, you'll find it in there. So without further ado, I shall now leave you with... 5, 10, 15, however long I decide to put in, minutes of footage that was testing the vehicles. Uh, some of the developers in their developers closed one that wasn't open for the usual beta testers or the closed alpha testers playing around with vehicles. It is early access, so a lot of things you'll see in there are going to change, are being worked on, so take this with a pinch of salt, but it is a tiny look behind the curtain. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I've been Paraplayers, and I shall see you in some more Squad and Rainbow Six videos. Coming real soon. Bye bye. Cue the video. This uh, rack looks awesome. Yeah, it does. It's sunk who, in who the ground over right Tom, now, did you do the rack? Uh, yeah. It looks great. Ow! Yeah. Ass. When Bruno gets his exploding stuff on there, it'll look who better. The fuck just shot the yeah. 25. No, I agree. Oops. <laughs> oops. I mean, oops. oops. It definitely oops? looks like part of the map. That's the best part about it. So if you have like a big fight in an area, and then like there's a bunch of destroyed zombies. Right Ow! Yeah, I know. It's, that was the intent, though. Like we didn't want to actually get rid of it. Get rid of it. We don't want to get rid of them ever. Are they going to be replicated, Roy? Or are they going to affect performance? We're talking about, talk about turning them off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You turn them off. Yeah. I love the Rex, but yeah. it's called tearing off. It basically makes yeah. all uh, network object unnetworked. Yeah. But I'm just we'll talking to even, like we'll polys and draws, you know, over time. That was like, yeah, the, that was like, yeah, the, 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 dream the draws will be a thing. But there are clues. They'll have so... lots. They'll have lots. Hey, yeah. They have lots, they're clues. I mean, I think the actual overhead of this is Chris, pretty minimal. Chris, you, you and uh, the other guys spam the technical, and yeah. that's lot zero, like 40,000 yeah. triangles. And that's everywhere. Without I got lots. kicked over a team kill.
<laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. That was someone bleeding out, probably, because I didn't shoot anyone just then. Oh, oh was... back blast to the face. Got him. Oh, really? Oh, that was it. So, I think the TLDR is they're a little buggy still, but they're 100% functional now. Oh, yeah. Um, can you get a chance? Get <laughs> <laughs> kill versus saw. Who wins? <laughs> uh, when the saw sends the vehicle flying like crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, Sorry, get Norby! Get Norby! Oh, you're getting too good at this. Yeah. I already <laughs> dead. Did I get you? Yeah. Nice. Oh, uh, I'm taking kill, you instantly die all the time. Next build's gonna be fun. Then we're gonna have to try and hit it with an RKG oh, instead of the RPG. That'll be good. Oh, it's gonna be suicidal. It'll be amazing, is what it'll be. It'll be good as soon as he can probably fire back with the BTR. Do the Ural physics work? Uh, I didn't touch it yet, so I'm probably very basic. Fair enough. But well, everything else on the did you? Though. Gary, did you drive around a little and noticed uh, yeah. that it slightly stutters sometimes? Sometimes, yeah. Um, I'm gonna work on smoothing that position correction out uh, with some interpolation, just a little bit of it. Um, like okay, the light cool. dusting. So that should solve that problem. But yeah, no, the goal. stutter is... The stutter, <laughs> it yeah. means that it, the client or the server is correcting the client's location rather than it slowing too down, which is what the previous thing was. Like it was like slowing way down. So, Do you it's better. Footage of that? I've got some footage of uh, cars no, at uh, high speeds when flying next to them. No, 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 I know. What's wrong? Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh you <laughs> son of a bad fish. Oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> and he got bad. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's just everyone was on that mound. I had to. It was really tempting. Oh yeah, and the Humvee drums way better in this build, by the way. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I spent like four hours in it today. Excellent. Oh, you shut him out? You're doing a really good job on these physics, dude. Thanks. Yes, he is. Well, so far I only heard from Michael that the uh, BTR feels American. I'm not sure if that is a good <laughs> thing or a bad thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, no idea what that means. So we gotta get... Ooh, I got a fatal it's error when trying to rejoin the server. Yeah, I was noticing that the other day. We need to figure out what that is. It might be replication times also, Marlon, your microphone's open. Don't shoot people uh, out, please. When I get my easy. stutters, I go to like 3 FPS. Yeah, we, get, we gotta take off uh, SQ damage type on the fucking BTR. <laughs> yeah. The saw is killing, killing the driver. Yeah, we need to figure out the damage. Latest. Oof. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, we need to not distribute bullet damage to oh, everyone. I, oh, I know. It's it's all it's on my list, guys. No worries. No worries. We're not there yet. We're still trying to get the vehicle set up first. Uh, oh. Imagine these Humvee rocks with a bit of smoke. <laughs> it looks like graveyard. I think they need to be a little darker too, like burnt out. Oh yeah, we'll do it. Bacon some like scorch marks and shit. Yeah, we we have the texture in the works. Yeah, they're already yeah they're already working on it. You guys should have because this looks blown up Humvee it's, references. So. It's a it's a steam blow up Humvee straight out of the factory. It it came out. I, it came out pre wrecked. I'm gonna give Budget that cuts. a run over tomorrow. Give that a run over tomorrow, like burn the bullet holes, that kind of thing on the Humvee. Run it over. Uh, can someone give me a quick rundown on uh, what testing? Has been run. Like, uh, are you not in the game? No, I'm still updating. I can. Get oh, we've been driving time, vehicles around and trying to hit each other with rockets. That's the TLDR. We still are. We still are doing that. Got a lot of rockets flying. And and how is it in general? Is it stuttery? Is it shit? Is it good? No. It's it's hopeful. It's hopeful. It's That's what it is. Very it's solid. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, good potential. We're not. We're not all gonna have to quit and work in supermarkets next week. I don't think so. <laughs> nope. I am ready to show this shit off. I'm, I've been recording. Alright, brilliant. There's some really good stuff here. 
Brilliant. Oh! Those direct hits really oh. are and then I died. Oh. I think I just got shot out, like actually shot out. No. I just insta died. No, he uh he I don't to me it didn't even get the hospital like fragmentation killed you. Something killed me. It landed what next is that? To you. What is that PTR I, doing? So, uh, some of it could also be fire. Actually, no, none of our weapons cause fire. Or, yeah. So, uh, we've seen people, uh, vehicles on fire. What caused that then? Uh, flipping. Flipping. Okay. So, so if, think... you, if you flip or catch air, your vehicle catches on fire fairly quickly. So, I think, um, what we need to do is we need to figure out. Um, well, I'm dead. Well, this first isn't... of all, we need to figure out why that's not counting as a team kill. You get killed yeah. out of a vehicle. Oh, I, um, I don't think there's, um... Yeah. That's that's in the description of the player collision ticket. To ensure that, uh, it can't, like, uh... That's not get it, Bruno! Ow! That worked. <laughs> Ow! Ah, another YouTube upload. Hopefully lots of views. Um, what the? Less than 300 views and down votes. I give up, you guys suck donkey balls. Have it, have it. God save the queen.